بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يسبح لله ما في السماء ഇസ്ലാം Allah who bestowed his favors upon every single one of us with the grace of Islam. We thank him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa habana min fadlihi wa judihi bi jalil al-ihsan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who blessed us with his Uh, favors, blessings, mercies, and all the goodies. وَجَبَنَّا عَلَى مَحَبَّةِ الصَّادِقَ لِلْأَوْتَانِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, made this, He made us to have a true love for our homeland. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it compulsory on every body to have a true love for his or our own country. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it easy for us and he made it mandatory on every single one of us to love our country. We must love our country. We must love our homeland. We must love our city. Wa usalli wa usallim ala sayyid al-anam. May he Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to shower his blessing upon the master of the universe. Wa rasul salam A peaceful messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam sayyiduna Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa sallim may he Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala extend his blessings favors upon the household member of the prophet Muhammad his companions ikhwati fi Allah ikhwati fi Allah the muslims My brothers and sisters in Islam inna nusus al-sharia al-islamiya ja'at litaqarrara al-mashru'iyya hubb al-watan this our religion Islam has brought surahs litaqrar al-mashru'iyya hubb al-bub al-watan the Islam as encourage us the islam has told us that we should have love for our country we must love our country we must love our homeland min ghairi tafrid wala ghulwi without trespassing we must love our country and we should not go beyond the boundary if we are having the love for your country you shouldn't go beyond the boundary that you love your country more than your god allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fa ya ibadallah the honorable servant of allah are you al mu'minun laqad hassa al islam hubban li watanina wa difa'ani islam encourage all the muslims to have love to have love for this our country 
will defy anywho, and we must protect our country. We must keep our country secured. We must keep this our country secured. Faya ibadallah, walakodi waqaf an nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yukhatibu makka tal mukarrama muwadda'a laha wa iya watanuhu alladhi ukhrija min. Let us take a look at the love that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had for his own country, for his own homeland, Mecca. The honorable servant of Allah. When the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was about to leave Mecca for Medina, when he was about to migrate to Medina, the Prophet Muhammad was facing Mecca, addressing Mecca, talking to Mecca like a human being. The Prophet Muhammad was demonstrating his own love, the love he had for his own country, his own land. The Prophet was facing the Mecca, saying, when he was expelled from that city of Mecca, when Prophet was about to leave, he now faced the Mecca, saying, Fakod Ruya and Abdullah bin Abbas. Abdullah bin Abbas reported this hadith, Radiallahu Anhuma, may Allah be pleased with them. And now we call, call Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam li Mecca. Ma ati yabak min walad, min balad. Prophet was facing the Makkah and said, he said to the Makkah, oh, ma ati yabak min balad. You are the most pleasant of a country. Prophet was saying that to Makkah. Wa habbaki ilayya. You are the most beloved to me, this country. This city, this Mecca, you had the most beloved to me. Walaula, anna kaumi akhrajuni mink. Man sakan to gayrik. If not that my people sent me away from you, I will remain here. But I was sent away, expelled from this city. I love to remain here. The Prophet was, 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 was telling the city of Mecca, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That shows that Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, had a true love for what? For his own uh, land, homeland. azina. Prophet was saying it with sad tone. He was saying it with sad, sad tone. He was so sad. Mulihatan Asafa. La ilaha illallah. Mulihatan Asafa. He was feeling it. How? Regretting. Am I going to leave this city? Washaukan. Yukhatibu iyaha. He was talking to the city of Mecca. As if he was talking to him and me. Prophet said again. Ma atiyabak min walad. Min baladi. What a nice country. What a nice country you have, this city of Mecca. Walaula anna Rasulallah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa huwa mu'allimu al-bashariya bi hubbi wa tanihi lamma qala adha al-kawl. If not that the Prophet had a, a true love for his own country, the Prophet would not be saying all this. Law adiraka if we all realize, if we know the meaning of what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was saying, la araina, la raaina hubbal watani min al iman. We will have seen that having love for the country of yours, having love for this our great country, Nigeria, we will have seen that it is part of what? Al-Watamin al-Iman is part of Iman, part of faith. 
Kama qala nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam As the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Prophet said Hubbul watani min al-iman Having love for your city, for your homeland, for your own country is part of Iman, is part of the faith. Faya ibad Allah, the honorable servant of Allah. Walamma balaga nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam juhfatan fi tariqihi. When the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was his way, his way through Medina, he left Mecca. When the Prophet when the prophet reached uh, Ajuhfa, a place called Ajuhfa, Ishtadda Shaukuhu, La ilaha illallah, Ishtadda Shaukuhu, that feeling got increased. The feelings that the prophet had, the love that the prophet had for his own country was increasing beyond control. He could not control it. He started the shawkuhu ila makkatin. Ila makkatin. The Prophet Muhammad, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when Allah observed, when Allah see that, when Allah saw that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had a true love for this city, and when Allah saw that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, was getting increasing loving this city of Mecca when the love is getting increasing when the, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala realized that Allah now for answer Allah now revealed a verse to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allah sent a verse to the Prophet Muhammad Allah says in the Quran al-Kareem inna allabi فَرَّدَ عَلَيْكَ الْقُرْآنَ لَرَادُّكَ إِلَى مَعَادِ صلى الله عليه وسلم Allah says إِنَّ الَّذِي Indeed That God Allah He Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Who imposed Quran on you Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم لَرَادُّكَ إِلَى مَعَادِ Allah will bring you back He will bring you back To this city Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah revealed a verse immediately. So that was when the Prophet now, he was now happy. For you to know the love the Prophet had for his own country. Nigerians, we are all expected to have the love for this our great country. Faya ibad Allah, the honorable servant of Allah. Wa indama. Hajara ila Madinatin was tautanaha was tautanaha Balkana yedi Allaha an yarusuka wu hubbaha kama fi sahihain. When the Prophet reached Madina, when he migrated to Madina, he now settled, he settled in Madina. That the Prophet Muhammad with his followers. When they settled in Madina, the next thing the Prophet did, because of that love he had for, Madi, for Mecca, يَدْعُ اللَّهَ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمْ أَنْ يَرُسُكَهُ كُبَّهَا He now asked Allah, the Prophet prayed to Allah to grant him love for Medina. Because of the, the level of the love he had for Mecca, he has to pray. He now prayed to Allah, oh Allah, I want you to grant me love for this city of Medina, as I have, as I had uh, love for what? For Mecca, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Kama fi sahihain. It is there in Sahih Bu'ari and Muslim. The Prophet said this prayer, Allahumma, oh Allah, habibu ilayna al-Madina. Habibu ilayna Madina. Grant me, grant us the love for this Medina. Kahubbina li Mecca. Kahubbina Makkatan au Ashaddan. As you granted us the love for Mecca, even more than that. I want you to grant me love for this Medina as you granted me love for Mecca. Even I want you to grant me love for this Medina more than Mecca. 
sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That to tell us that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam love is homeland. And we are all expected to emulate the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. فَهُوَ يَدْعُ اللَّهَ بِأَنْ يَرْسُكَهُ حُبَّ الْمَدِينَةِ شَدَّ مِنْ حُبِّ الْمَكَّةِ فَقَدْ دَعَى لَهَا كَمَا فِي صَحِيَنْ اللَّهُمَّ جِعَلْ بِالْمَدِينَةِ الْدَعِفَ مَا جَعَلْتَ بِمَكَّةَ مِنَ الْبَرَكَةِ صلى الله عليه وسلم Even Prophet Muhammad, he also prayed for Medina Oh Allah, I want you to bless this Medina Bless this Medina More than the way you bless Mecca Make it even deifain, deifa, make it double. The, 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 the blessings, the blessings that you put there in this Madina, let me the double of the one you put in Makkah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Faya ibad Allah, the honorable servant of Allah. Ya ikhwat al-Islam, unak alamatul hubbi lil-watan. What are the signs of Love, love of homeland. For us to confirm, for someone to claim himself as a lover of his or our own country, what are the signs that we are expecting from you? For you to tell us that you love this, your country, Nigeria. For ya ibad Allah, number one. Awaluha al hifsu wa taqaddum. La ilaha illallah. Al-hifsu wa taqaddum. Do your best to keep this country secure. That is number one. We should try to keep this, our country, secure. That shows that we love the country. And we are expected to work toward the development of the country. How can we come up with this? Faya ibad Allah. وَلِكَوْلِهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم said المسلم من سلم المسلمون من لسانه ويدي The Muslim among you is he who من سلم he who he who's from or let me put like this المسلم من سلم المسلمون a Muslim, a true Muslim, a true believer is he from whose hand and the tongue the Muslims are safe? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wal mu'min. Wal mu'minu e mu'min. Man salima. Wal mu'min man amina un nasu ala dima ihim wa amualihim. And the prophet continues saying it, that a mu'min, a believer is he from whose hand and tongue people, not this time around, not Muslims, so people's, people are safe. People are safe from him. The people's properties, the people's lives are safe from him. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When we take a look at this at this very well, the Prophet Muhammad started at this the hadith saying that al muslim man salim al muslimuna min lisanihi wa yadi the best muslim is someone that another muslim the other muslim is safe from his own tongue you are not insulting the other muslims you are not using your your mouth your tongue to spoil the life of another muslim we know how we go about it Wayadi, you are not using your hand to harm anybody, to harm any Muslim. The prophet now continues saying, Wal mu'min man aminahu, man amina unnasu, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the best, mu'min. There is a difference between Muslim and mu'min. The first stage in Iman is Muslim. You first become a Muslim before you graduate to the level of mu'min. And when the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, wanted to talk about the level of a mu'min, he now said that a mu'min is the one that other people, over other people's life, other people's properties are safe from his hand. 
sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For you to tell us that you love this country, you make sure, you make sure that other people's lives, properties are saved from your hand, from your tongue. That shows that you love the country. The honorable servant of Allah, Kila ya Rasulallah, Wallahi la yu'min, Wallahi la yu'min, Wallahi la yu'min, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Kila man, man ya Rasulallah, Kala alladhi la ya'manu, Jaruhu bawa ikaw, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One day the Prophet was talking, he was addressing his companions. Prophet said to them, Wallahi la yu'min, he's not a Muslim, he's not a believer, it's not a mu'min. He repeated it three times. Kill a man, Ya Rasulallah. Ya Rasulallah. The companions, they now ask the Prophet Muhammad, Oh, Ya Rasulallah. The messenger of Allah. He said, Man, Alladhi, Prophet now, La Ya'manu, Jaruhu, Bawa Ikom. Someone that his neighbors are not safe from him. He's not a Muslim. Is not a mu'min. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The honorable servant of Allah, wherever, in any condition, in any situation we find ourselves, let us try to secure this country. Either we are, we are going to have election, as a good Muslim, you should try to secure your own country. Maybe tomorrow, uh, as it has been announced, FCT area council election will take place. Your own duties, your own responsibility, what you are expected to do is to make sure that your country is secure. That means and it shows that you love the country. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for all of us. Faya ibad Allah, the honorable servant of Allah, the second point for us to know for us to prove ourselves as a lover of this great country, Nigeria, wasaniha al lil watan. Peace. We should allow peace to reign. Either we are going through election, before election, during election, after election. We are all fire ibad Allah. Woman da'a, woman dua Ibrahim. One of the invocations, the supplications, the prayers of the Prophet Ibrahim was that He asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant Makkah peace. That was the one of the prayers of the Prophet Ibrahim. ودعا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم للمدينة يسهر بحبهما لتلك بقعتين المباركتين اللاتين هما موتهما وموت آلهما صلى الله عليه وسلم الله سبحانه وتعالى Prophet Ibrahim عليه الصلاة والسلام ask Allah to grant Mecca peace and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did the same thing. Asked Allah to grant him love for Medina. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The honorable servant of Allah, wa kala Sayyidina Ibrahim. The Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa sallam says, he said in, uh, in his prayer, he said, according to Quran al-Kareem, and the Quran says, Rabbi ja'al adha baladan amina. The Prophet Ibrahim said, Oh Allah, oh Allah, I want you to grant this city, Amna, peace. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answered his prayer. So we are all expected as Nigerians to be praying, to be supporting our this great country with prayer. As the Prophet Ibrahim asked Allah, to grant Makkah peace. We should be asking Allah to restore back peace 
Let Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant this country peace. We are so in need of it. We should try to emulate the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam to copy him to do as he did. Rabbi ja'al hadha baladan amina warzuk ahalahu min al-samarat. Allahu Akbar kabira. Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam pray for Mecca and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answer his prayer. Inna Ibrahim and the Prophet Muhammad was a Muslim. In Sahih Muslim, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu wa sallam said, Allahumma barik lana fi tamarina, wa barik lana fi madinatina, wa barik lana fi sa'ina, wa barik lana fi mudna, Allahumma inna Ibrahim abduk. Inna Ibrahim abduk. Prophet Muhammad said in his own prayer, Oh Allah, inna Ibrahim. This Prophet Ibrahim abduk is your servant. He is your servant Allah. Prophet Ibrahim is your friend, is your prophet. And Allah I'm also your servant and your prophet. Prophet Ibrahim, that Prophet Ibrahim, that was the prayer of the Prophet Muhammad saying to Allah, Inna Ibrahim da'aka. The Prophet Ibrahim called upon you, Allah. He asked you to grant this Mecca peace. Wa ana adi'uka lil Madina. Allahu Akbar. And I, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I'm also asking you, ask, asking you, Allah, to grant this Madina peace. Grant this Madina peace. Prophet did the same thing. We are all expected to do the same thing. As the Prophet did, Prophet emulated Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, he prayed for Medina as the Prophet Ibrahim prayed for Mecca. And we are also expected to pray for this great country, Nigeria. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, restore back peace to this uh, country, Nigeria. Fa'alamu anna allaha huwa alladhi yu'ti wa yamna'u wa huwa ala kulli shayhin qadir. Wa huwa ala kulli shayhin qadir. We should all know that. No one has power to give. No one has power to give. It's only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that gives. And sometimes he denies whomever Allah wishes. You will not give him. You will not give her. That is Allah for you. Isan, if you find yourself in any post, if you find yourself in any position today, Believe that it's from who? From Allah. It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who granted you that position. Don't, but don't forget. Allah says in the Quran al-Karim, Tabaraka al-Ladi, bi'adi il-mulk, wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir. Al-Ladi qalaqa al-mawta wal-hayata liyabiliwakum. You can see. Liyabiliwakum. Allah said, any post you find yourself, I put you, I put you there to be tested. You are just there to be tested, to go through the trial, to go through the test of Allah. Allah is watching you whether you do it well or not. And you account for it before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in the Quran al-Karim again, قُلِ اللَّهُمَّ مَالِكَ الْمُلْكِ تُوتِ الْمُلْكَ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتَنْزِعُ الْمُلْكَ مِمَّنْ تَشَاءُ وَتُعِزُّ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتُضِلُّ مَنْ تَشَاءُ بِيَدِكَ الْقَيْرُ إِنَّكَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِرُ تُولِجُ اللَّيْلَ فِي النَّهَارِ وَتُولِجُ النَّهَارَ فِي اللَّيْلِ وَتُخْرِجُ الْحَيَّ مِنَ الْمَيِّتِ وَتُخْرِجُ الْمَيِّتَ مِنَ الْأَيِّ وَتَرْزُقُ مَنْ تَشَاءُ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ صدق الله العظيم الله سبحانه وتعالى is the owner of the power is is the owner of sovereignty Wherever, if you are given a position, you are given a power, remember that it's Allah that gave it to you. Allah can withdraw him from whomever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wishes at any point in time. And that is Allah for us. Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tu'izzu man tesa he honor Allah honors whoever Allah wishes 
he honors him or her. But to Dil Numantesha, an Allah humble, he humbles whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wishes. And that is Allah for you. We have to fear Allah wherever we find our, ourselves. If you be the winner, fear Allah. Do the right thing that you are expected to do. If you be a loser, don't be too sad. Uh, be thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he has reason for everything. Be thanking Allah, be supportive. Support whoever is there. Do the right thing at the right time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for all of us. Wala hawla, wala quwwata illa billahi al Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We praise him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask him to continue blessing the noble prophet, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have mentioned two points two signs to show that you love this great country. Number one, to keep this country secure. Number two, number two is that we should try as a Muslim, as a believer who believe in oneness of Allah to allow, to allow peace to reign. Peace to reign in this country. Number three, number three is al-ittihadu. Unity. Number three is unity among the Nigerians. Islam encourages it encourage unity. That is Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in Karim in Quran 4 verse 1, Surah to Nisa. Allah says, Ya Ayuha Nasu Taku. Rabbakum al-ladhi khalaqakum min nafsin wahida wa khalaqa minya zawjaha wa batha minhuma rijalan kathiran wa nisa'a wa taku allaha al-ladhi tasa'aluna bi'i wal-arham inna allaha kana alaykum raqiba sadaka allahu al-azim Allah says in the Quran Oh you mankind You can see Allah did not say Oh you who believe Allah said Oh you mankind Taku rabbakum Fear your Lord Fear Allah, all of you. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah who created you min nafsin wahida from single soul. That is Adam. Alayhi salatu was salam. And our mother, Sayyidina Sayyidatu Hawa. Allah says we should fear him. We should fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whatever we are doing, we should remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For nasu jamiha. Mutasawuna fi asli la khalq la fadlu lil arabi ala al ajamish illa bi taqwa wal amal al salih. We are all equal before Allah. We are all equal before Allah in terms of creation. In terms of creation, we are all equal before Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are all the children of Adam. That is the meaning. لا فضل للعرب على العجمي Arab they don't have any any uh, uh, what do you call it they don't have any favor they don't have any honor than, more than other people than Betekwa the most honor before Allah among all of us is whoever fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you don't fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even though you are Arab, you are nothing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is why Allah says in the Quran Karim, Inna akramakum inda Allahi atiqaakum. The best among you is who, who, who love Allah, he who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yaqulu al-Imam Shafi'i. Imam Shafi'i says, An-Nasu min jiatil التماثل أقفاه أبوه آدم والأم أواه فإن يكن لهم في أسل شرف يفاقرون به 
فطين والماء ما الفخر إلا لأهل العلم إنهم ألا الهدى لمن استهدى أدي الله ففز بعلم تعيش أي بئي أبدا فالناس موتا وأهل العلم أحياه الله أكبر كبيرا إمام زافي says that we are all equal before Allah we are all children of Adam no one among us is so special before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except those who fear Allah we should fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the other point number number four وَرَبِعْهَا فَهُوَا الْأَصَبِيَّةِ for, for you to prove yourself as a lover of this country Asobiya, stay away from tribalism Ah, uh, this one is my tribe I must favor him or her even though if that person is, is, is at fault you must favor him or her Prophet Muhammad وَقَدْ نَهَا أَنِهَا الرَّسُولِ Muhammad فَقَالَ عَلَيْهِ الصَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ لَيْسَ مِنَّا مَنْ دَعَا إِلَىٰ أَصَبِيَّةِ Prophet said, it's not one of my followers. Whoever is calling to tribalism is my tribe. وَنَهَا عَنِ الْأَصَبِيَّةِ لَا يَتَدَمَّنُ أَنَّهُ أَنِ الْحُبِّ الْحَوْتَانِ For us to stay away from tribalism does not mean that we should not love our country. We should not love our homeland. We should have the love for our homeland. For Konisuila, alayhi salatu wa salam, as we all be thinking that what's the meaning of uh, tribalism in Islam? Yes, even the companions of the Prophet Muhammad, they ask him, we want to know the Prophet. What do you mean by we should not love, we should not be calling to tribalism? We want to really know the meaning. Prophet Muhammad, can we say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? أمن من العصبية أن يحب الرجل قومه أمن العصبية أن يحب الرجل قومه Are you saying Muhammad that one should not love his own people someone who comes who comes from Kano should not love the people of Kano someone who comes from Lagos should not love the people of Lagos is that what you are saying professor no no can we say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam فقال عليه الصلاة والسلام إن العصبية ما يعين قومه على الظلم الله أكبر the عصبية the tribalism that I'm referring to is for someone to be assisting to be helping to be supporting someone who is doing wrong thing all in the name of he is my from my own tribe صلى الله عليه وسلم Are you in a coma or Allah told me for someone to be having love to be supporting someone doing something injustice? That's the meaning of tribalism that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is referring to. Now I don't will be seeing so many people doing something wrong. Or in the name of is from my own side. I have to support him. Yes, I must support him even though he's doing wrong thing. Prophet said we should not support. وقام يسوع نمبر فاي من الرسول الكتال بين المسلمين والناس أجمعين. Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم he forbid that we should not be fighting one another. If you are claiming as a lover, you are claiming yourself as a lover of this great country. We should not be fighting one another. Either during the election, we should let everything go. Well, as a, as a lover of this great country, we should allow peace to reign. Whether we are in election or before election or after election, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in his hadith sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that a Muslim, Sibabul Muslim, Fusuk, wa kitalu kufur. Muslims, Muslims will not be fighting other Muslims. Muslims should not be fighting other people. The other people should not be fighting Muslims. We should stay together. We should live together in, in, in harmony. And that is hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Was hadith where number six is ashbishura from Akana Yukadim. We should try to, uh, to be consulting ourselves. Anything government want to do, they should sit down and seek for advice. They should, you know, 
even though apart from the government, whatever we want to do by ourselves, we should try to seek for advice. It's part of the, the, the science that shows that you love this great country. Faya ibad Allah, the honorable servant of Allah, number seven is hubbul watani yesharu fi ihtiramin al kawanin al watani. That is number seven. We should respect, we must honor and respect and regard the law of the land. No one is above the law. No one is above it. If you are claiming yourself as a good Nigerian, you must, you must follow, you must respect, you must honor the law of your land. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our ibadah. Inna Allah ya'amurukum il adu wal isan wa ita izu kurba wa inna an fasa wal munkar wal bagi ya izu kula allah kundu dhakkarun. Subhanaka Allahumma bihamdik. Nash'adu an la ilaha illa anta nastakfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wa salamun ala al mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Akimu salat. وَيُزَكِّيهِ